Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 9th of 2024 is titled Moon's Shadow Over Lake Magog. So what do we see here? Well, see here we see over Lake Magog in Quebec. And what we see is the solar eclipse up in the sky. Now that is a solar eclipse occurs when our moon passes in front of our sun and temporarily blocks out its light. And if you happen to be on the path of totality yesterday, you would have seen it get dark in the middle of the day. And that's because the sun was being blocked out by the moon. Now we can see an image of that here. The black disk at the center up there in the sky is the moon. Now it doesn't look like the moon as we're used to it. It's the moon in new phase, meaning that the illuminated portion of the moon is pointing away from Earth toward the sun. And we're seeing the unilluminated portion of the moon. So that means we're not seeing anything lit of the moon, but it is passing directly in front of the sun and blocking out its light. Well, what is the rest of that material around it? Well, that is the corona or the atmosphere of the sun. And that is visible during a total eclipse. Now, it's always there. The sun always has that atmosphere. However, it is much fainter than the rest of the sun. So you never see it. And that would be the case here. You see the uh, you're able to see that only because the rest of the sun has been blocked out. Now you can see how dark it's gotten in the sky. And in fact, you can see at least one other object in the sky there down below and to the right of the eclipsed sun. And that would be the planet Venus. Venus currently vis visible in the morning sky just before sunrise, but here visible during the day. And again, normally you cannot see Venus. It's there every day in this roughly this position right now. Positions do slowly change, but right now it's roughly in that position today, just as it was uh, during the eclipse yesterday. However, the glare of the sun brightens up the sky enough that we simply cannot see it. However, when that solar glare is blocked out, then you get to see things like Venus and other stars could be visible as well, depending on how clear the skies happen to be. And here you see some clouds, but relatively clear and able to nicely view this eclipse. Now this was the uh, last solar eclipse for a couple of years. There'll be some partial solar eclipses and annular solar eclipses. But we've got a couple of years now before the next total solar eclipse will occur somewhere in the world. Now we do get eclipses every year of some kind or other. We might get solar eclipses or lunar eclipses. And it all depends on the cycles and the positioning of the sun, moon and earth. So when they're lined up, we can get that eclipse. And depending on where they're lined up and what time of year they happen to line up and where relative to the moon cycles they all line up together tells us what type of eclipse we will get. So there will be further eclipses coming. They do occur every single year. It just depends on where they happen to be visible on Earth. This one happened to go through Mexico and parts of the eastern US and up through Canada. And others will occur, of course, elsewhere in the world as well. So we can look forward to future eclipses that will occur as well. But here we get to see an image of the eclipse from April the 8th of 2024. So that was our picture of the day for April 9th of 2024. It was titled Moon's Shadow over Lake Magog. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be hot star mess. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.